Bora TV. The world is thinking. Look, I co-authored my first book when I was 25. I've written hundreds, if not thousands, of articles. I coordinate our people uh, and bring together big media um, collaborations. We now have six, over 63 partners and we have published for years and years. Um, so I'm actually not very interested in what people choose to call me. Uh, clearly, I'm a publisher, a journalist, uh, a, a manager, uh, editor-in-chief, etc. Um, but the use, the debate over this word is itself interesting in what it reveals. The debate over this word, uh, journalist, in relation to us, is the same as the debate over the word torture in relation to waterboarding. It is a definition which has political and legal importance. The New York Times deliberately referred to us as a source in order to cover their own asses in relation to the US Espionage Act. They wanted to place themselves into a completely passive position, a passive receptacle of information because one man's collaboration is another man's conspiracy. That is why I have been attempted be described as a source from the New York Times, and that is something that we knew about before publication. New York Times lawyers uh, were very concerned about any use of the word partner uh, as an example. The New York Times was so concerned about the potential threats against it that with the Afghan war diaries, and Nick Davies, if he's present, should be able to confirm this, we set up a system uh, whereby the New York Times would publish first. And that was the idea for all our cooperation in relation to US military documents. We did that in case there was any allegation that our source or sources were US government employees. So it would be clear that this was a transfer of information from a US citizen or citizens to a newspaper and therefore all those first, all those fourth estate uh, protections that we are so familiar with um, might apply. The New York Times, one week before publication, said that they refused to go first, at least according to The Guardian. They refused to go first and they asked not that The Guardian go first, but rather that we, WikiLeaks, go first. They wanted WikiLeaks, a small web startup, to scoop the most influential English paper in the world. Something you would think would be against all its values, all its competitive instincts. And they did so because they were scared. They were scared of being prosecuted under the Espionage Act and they were scared of the political fallout and they didn't want to be seen as the causative agent in this matter. They wanted to be seen as merely a passive reporter and a passive receptacle of information. And that should tell you something about the media climate in the US when it concerns national security reporting. Even the people who have the most power are terrified. 